everyone has probably asked themselves the question, what is gravity? Even ancient Greek philosophers have extensively argued about this. Later, the experiments of Galilei Galileo, who dropped weights from the leading tower of Pisa, showed that gravity causes objects of different masses to fall with the same acceleration. Nowadays, if you look up Wikipedia, gravity is defined as a fundamental interaction that causes mutual attraction between all things with mass or energy. Although gravity is by far the weakest of the four fundamental interactions and works mainly in the macroscopic area, it has an influence on planets, stars, and galaxies, as well as light. For example, the moon's gravity is responsible for the ebb and flood on Earth. On subatomic particles, however, it has no effect. For most applications, gravity is well approximated by Newton's law of universal gravitation, which describes gravity as a force causing any two bodies to be attracted toward each other, with a magnitude proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Where F is the force, M1 and M2 are the masses of the objects interacting, R is the distance between the centers of the masses, and G is the gravitational constant. The strength of gravity between two objects depends on their masses and the distance between them. The greater the mass of an object, the stronger its gravitational pull, and the further apart the two objects are, the weaker the gravitational force between them. But Newton's theory of gravity cannot be used at very large masses or high velocities. Therefore, gravity is most accurately described by the general theory of relativity, proposed by Albert Einstein in 1915 which describes gravity not as a force, but as the curvature of space-time caused by the presence of mass or energy. This means that objects with mass or energy warp the fabric of space-time around them, causing other objects to be attracted toward them. The most extreme example of this curvature of space-time is a black hole, from which nothing, not even light, can escape once past the black hole's event horizon. Only from Albert Einstein's general relativity rule could the orbit of the planet Mercury be explained. Furthermore, it can explain phenomena such as the deflection of light and the existence of gravitational waves. But general relativity is ultimately incompatible with quantum mechanics. As a result, modern researchers have begun to search for a theory that could unite both gravity and quantum mechanics under a more general framework. What is quantum gravity? Quantum gravity is the branch of physics that seeks to describe the gravitational force in the framework of quantum mechanics. It aims to provide a unified theory of gravity that can reconcile the principles of general relativity, which describes gravity as a curvature of spacetime, and quantum mechanics, which describes the behavior of particles at a microscopic level. The need for a theory of quantum gravity arises from the fact that the principles of general relativity and quantum mechanics seem to contradict each other when applied to the subatomic scale. In particular, general relativity breaks down in situations of extremely high energy or extremely small distances, such as those found in the early universe or at the center of a black hole. Various approaches have been proposed to develop a theory of quantum gravity, including the string theory, loop quantum gravity, and casual dynamical triangulation. These theories attempt to reconcile the principles of general relativity and quantum mechanics by introducing new concepts such as extra dimensions, quantum spacetime, and discrete geometry. Although complete theory of quantum gravity has not yet been developed, the field continues to be an active area of research. It holds the promise of unlocking new insights into the nature and the universe and its fundamental constituents. Furthermore, there's also modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND. We already briefly talked about this theory in our video about dark matter. The theory was proposed in 1983 by the Israeli physicist Mordechai Milgram as an alternative to the dark matter postulate. MOND is a modified version of Newtonian gravity, which is used to explain discrepancies in the observed behavior of galaxies. It states that gravity behaves differently on large scales than on small scales and is not proportional to the mass of an object. In the meantime, more precisely in November 2016, the MOND was developed further by the Dutch physicist Eric Verlind. This new theory says that dark matter, as well as gravity, are a consequence of the mysterious dark energy. What do you think? Should we create detailed videos for all of the briefly mentioned theories? Write your opinion in the comments.